Last episode, man. Damn. That was another... Every episode is emotional. But like the ZN singer showing up. And she's blind. I'm not really sure her explanation just yet. I don't think we're supposed to know completely about how she created her sight. Or I don't know. With, with the god, it's like a punishment or something. A helmet. She was like super popular in Japan. And then success came wrong and blah, blah, blah. And now she's kind of doing her own little thing. Not really little anymore because the end is obviously super popular, right? But hey, there's like a concept gonna happen. And now we're gonna go with Tomori now because she and you are pretty much a ship. It should be a little awkward, but she was appreciative of how we saved her big brother. Hopefully those, you know, effects of the song are permanent. It'd be really sad if, you know, now went back to the hospital after hearing that the brother is normal. And then it's like, psych, it was a cool down. That'd be fucking sad. Now, we should be having a date episode. Everything should be happy, but I feel like knowing this show for what it's shown me so far, something fucked might happen. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Oh, shit. Look at that drip. Why does he have a picture of Yusari in, in his room right now? Unless this is for Ayumi, man. What, what is this? I thought he thinks Yusari is fucking cringe. Probably Ayumi stuff. <laughs> The classic. Wow, look at that. I still think it'd be funny if there was a fucking pizza and sauce jar on the side, man. I think it'd be just so fucking hilarious if there's a pizza sauce right beside Ayumi's portrait. Oh, yo. Now's drip, though. Dato, she tried hard, too. What's up? Is she just always so... Is she acoustic? No, that's not her. But like her demeanor, it's always just like, you know, if a girl be like, oh, I was waiting for this song. You're like, oh my God, date. Oh, wow, you look so nice. But like, oh, now it's like, all right, hey, Mori, let, let, let's go. Yeah. What kind of merch does you want? T-shirts? What are you here to buy? CDs? See? She can show emotion like this when she gets super passionate about her things, right? She wants like a high-tech smartphone? Alright. <laughs> if that gets you hyped up, I'm excited for you too. You don't want to imagine couples? <laughs> but the fact that he felt hurt there means that he actually cares about her and her opinions, proving that the relationship has been developing. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Hand holding? Even though we're just kind of someone that she just wants to talk to? And we're holding hands? I don't know. What the fuck was that? He looked at the sign, the end, and his eyes started to... And there was something that connects him in his past with the missing sibling and the end as well, right? I forget. In the earlier episodes, when he even heard the song for the first time on top of the cliff in the episode where we're trying to find a flying person, didn't he feel like he, like, just realized some truth of the world? What's going on? <laughs> Missing sibling, remember, that's still in play. <laughs> Did he lose memories before in the past? <laughs> okay, oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah. I'm happy for you. Wow, she's actually smiling. <laughs> Let's see how Sara looks like on the stage. Oh shit, there she is! If I switch to the English audio right now, it would be the same song, so there's no point to do it, but I just want to prove to you. I just want to prove to you how lazy these motherfuckers are, bro. Not even gonna fucking change the track, bro. It's gonna troll me again like last episode. <laughs> Amazing! Captivating lyric. I was never found when Pi played hide and seek. This feels out of beat. Apparently, this is Acheron's uh, voice actor from Honkai Star Rail. Sada. That, what is that familiar feeling? Strange feeling. 
it all relates back to how he re recognized his song before even hearing it, quote unquote, because he doesn't remember hearing it. But he obviously has memory loss, right? With the missing sibling. But back in the past, and here's another thing that's very interesting. Sara is br blind. So there could have been an instance like, she's not the missing sibling, right? There's no way she's the missing sibling. No, in, in the flashbacks, that person had like, it was a dude. It was a brother figure. And he had like silverish hair like Tomori. But this girl is also blind, meaning that she also would not recognize you, even if they met in the past like this. But I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> well, trigger! That camera movement. What is it, you? How do you know it? How does it relate to the missing sibling? Do you know me? The lyrics are even teasing us. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. These scenes, hold up, frame by frame. So flashback? Some kind of camera? Some room? Research. Looks like government material, like military research room. And uh, that is you, right? In some kind of goggles. Some research goggles, I don't know. That's it? Oh shit. Dude. Bro is fucking turning into now his brother, not that the brother's gotten better. What the fuck? So, okay, so hold up, hold up, hold up. So now we're doing, so he screams, and then now, little transition scene. This is the same camera, the Sigma security guard camera that we saw in the beginning. In the, in the, in the crazy scene where he's having these memories. Looks like some kind of like PC cafe, yeah? <laughs> I am mean! That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Pizza sauce is back. Only for a little bit though. Way too deep. <laughs> and he forgot. Until he listened to it again, then he remembered. I don't know what happened. So, it's looking like all three of them were experimented from before. With the missing sibling, I'm assuming this is some kind of lab, and they're having some free time, and they're listening to these songs. So, how does this work? Maybe the older sibling somehow saved us, and by doing so, we lost our memories. Or something happens here, and we lose our memories of our, the other sibling, but we still have Ayumi. And that's what happens? He was already being researched on as a kid? Gopeko. <laughs> this is not a PC cafe, this is a research lab. That can't be our missing bro. <laughs> no, he's way too old. Similar hair color, not quite the same dude. I don't know, why is he always here? I agree, classical music is great. Lego, but copyright. Ego. This guy's a researcher? Oh, he does have like a research jacket on. Right. Maybe it's his atonement for fucking researching on these fucking humans, bro, and he feels guilt. What? They were killed by the government. And he also was shamed for challenging the status quo. Interesting backstory, old man. Power amplifying drugs to make sure that all these kids that's gonna hit puberty that's being researched on will mature and realize their powers faster? That's the happy drugs that's crushed into the curry that's making you happy. I don't know. Shun Onichan! Shun Onichan, missing sibling! Movement? The fuck? Okay, bro can like teleport between places? Okay. He can time travel. Shun can time travel. He could potentially even time travel to a point where he got locked up here. I thought we were gonna have a happy date episode. 
but we're getting like white room arc backstory volume zero charlotte uh it's a sweet it's not. what do you mean what do you mean at least that's what they think that's what i knew all this time real power What the fuck is going on right now? And why he was at the post credit scenes of episode 6 looking at Ayumi that's been squished and seeing the blood and crying in the rain, I think. I don't know. I might be reaching. But what the fuck is happening? It's not his real power? He said something different! Kumagami! Kumagami! Bro got some lines! Instead of just Noryoku! His, his eyes! His eyes! He has eyes! So it's like prison break right now. Prison break arc. Okay. Polarize. He realized something. So his powers is still possessing someone. But it's like he realized something. Did he, like, learn? He learned. By possessing people, he learns about their what? What was that? I don't understand. He, he got knowledge. Remember that one episode too with the baseball episode? He tried to possess that person, but then it didn't work and he just woke up. I don't think it matters, right? <laughs> White room prison break time. None of these characters we've ever seen before, right? Shun! And he was in the flashback. Not the flashback, but like the um the, the, the scene where he was in the concert and there was someone with the glasses, right? That was him. His hair was different. That's him. That matches. So these are special, special specimen that has OP powers that needs to be grouped somewhere else? That doesn't even have powers? This guy, this guy. He doesn't have powers yet. Have we seen that girl before? Have we? This is Z end? Her hair is a little bit lighter. This is not Z end. Scene with her. Which episode? I. Oh! And Ayumi died! You're right, the limousine! This girl came out of nowhere! You're right, you're right! She was there for that one scene, I remember! And then she was just never brought up again. <laughs> Bro's got some jokes. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you mean? I got some extra curry for him. Yeah, why is Mr. Nodoku? Ayumi, rupture. So what is this? Sorry, 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 sorry. The plan to save my brother, right? Telepathy, right, right, right. Still haven't seen Charlotte yet. Uh-oh. Oh, shit! They only take people if they have power, but they took her. Rupture! This is rupture! It's the earthquake kind of thing. His name was Susumi. I don't think it really matters, but thank you, scientist. Damn, this entire building got fucked up because of Ayumi, huh? Collapse, not rupture, my bad. She's safe, unlike the next time she uses her powers. Dissector? Well, we know that doesn't happen. Holy fuck. True power, man. True power. What? Plunder? What, what does it mean to plunder a village? You just fucking steal shit, right? I mean, he like 
He plundered the Pompadour guy by like possessing him and then understanding nice. what knowledge? Is he plundering people's memories? The fuck does plunder mean here? Well, salute, Mr. Researcher. The fuck? They just opened? Okay. I was already thinking. He's teleporting. Oh no, he's already teleporting. Plunder him! Plundered! He steals their power. Bro can literally possess someone for five seconds. Take their power. Have we possessed anyone so far? In like the current timeline. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Did we... I can't remember. I have to go back. No, other than the baseball guy. Other than the base... The baseball. Baseball guy. Plunder. His power was manipulating the baseball. A little bit. The, the spin, right? But is there anyone... Is there anyone else? Flying guy? We can fly too, right? Oh shit. Oh shit. We got a lot of power. But, 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 but does he... But, but, I don't know if, like, in order to activate Plunder, you need to think about stealing their powers or not, right? Because he doesn't have these memories just yet. So he could have just possessed them without having Plunder. I don't know how this works. Maybe he did twerk it, maybe he hasn't. This girl again! Memory wipe. And she wipes our memories. Telepathy. He has telepathy. Forever? Because, like, if he still has telepathy, then he should be able to hear all these voices in his head in the present. So who knows how long these plundering skills are staying around. <laughs> Shun? Plundered. She got collapsed. Yo, this sibling. All these siblings have ridiculous fucking pro powers, bro. Brick Bro has timely powers. This dude can steal powers and possess them. Ayumi just earthquake, literally fucking white beard. It's gotta be the pizza sauce, bro. It's gotta be the secret fucking pizza sauce they've been feeding us. And that's another question we have. Where the fuck are our parents? Because our parents were never really there. The uncle existed. But if we've already been here in the science lab, that means that the parents might have already sold us off in the beginning? Or was it they were never there? I don't fucking know. Inter we do have an uncle, though. Uncle didn't really tell us shit. He just got his fucking ramen to eat during the depression arc. <laughs> yes. His power is activated! He can phase through walls and shit! How fucking lucky is that? Like, just, his power didn't even mature. Did we even know it was going to be phase? Is this RNG? Did he even, if he knew that it was already phasing through walls and all he had to do was manifest it, then maybe it matter. It, maybe it's not that bullshit. But it's like, damn. It's just, this power just happened to just, ha like, just manifest right now? Or was that a lie? I don't know. I think the other guy just died. Bro died trying to save a SISCON! <laughs> One more door! <laughs> Don't know which power that one is, but okay. Oh, that was pulverized! You're right! You're right! That was pulverized! Zafkid! You bet! Jesus now. Wow. What a fucking flashback. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. What did we learn? Bro, we were already in a fucking science lab. Holy shit. Big bro. The other people. Memory erasure. Time leap. So this is a different timeline now? This is a separate timeline that we never encountered that research lab? I'm confused. But I'm gonna assume that the time has altered. We're in a separate timeline. Do we go jump? I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> the end was too good. I just collapsed. <laughs> well, that's some real <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> Big Brother Shun, Ayumi. <laughs> that's right, Ayumi also knew. 
僕だはいおお思い出したか能力 Holy shit! He changed up his hairstyle and shows his eyes just for this moment. The collaborator, the collaborator, Mr. Whitman Geolocator, man. Look at this fucking slut showing this little cleavage, bro. Look at the fucking line they threw in in the fucking chest. The fucking cleavage, bro. Yeah, yeah, like this, right? <laughs> He just had to hide his hair. <laughs> Now even acknowledge it. You're pretty cute. Yeah, I mean, he is an EK man, right? He's basically straight out of a fucking dating sim game, like a fucking Ultima game. Could be one of the conquerable princes. Okay, okay. All the answers. What? What? Sister, can't go back. Don't give me this hope. Don't give me this hope. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Peter Sauce, timely. Big bro, timely. Ayumi. I'm just assuming we just do timely, but then somehow go to a different timeline than in the past where we still have the sister, man. Oh my fucking god. And then we can suffer through the pizza sauce. And maybe in that timeline, the pizza sauce won't be sweet. Maybe it'll be salty and it'll be actually fucking good, bro. In a different timeline. Oh my fucking god, bro. <laughs> You know? What? What the fuck? Small world. Also, in the in the flashback, wasn't Shun didn't he have like silver gray hair? Maybe it doesn't matter. I was really focused on the hair color, but Shun has like blue hair in that. In that, you know, the, 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 this episode. That same person was Shun, the one that helped him. He must have a lot of fucking money because he paid for all this shit too, right? Are we getting cucked? Are, are we getting cucked right now? Do I know you? I don't think I do. This is the same limousine that showed up. It was in the episode 6 at the end. This is the same limousine where that other girl showed up with the memory powers. Right, 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 right? Who is this guy, right? It's a taxi for the girl, right? Yeah, 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 I feel a cliffhanger or an episode ending. In the mountains? Secret cave? What the fuck? Which one was the driver in the flashback? Man, I know your money is not something you're short on. You're fucking loaded. Better research lab. No, no, unethical one where we don't kill people and torture them. I wonder what Big Bro Shin looks like now. <laughs> Got him. Bait him. I thought he would do some corny ass shit like this, bro. Like this. Like, you know what? Like, when you enter a room and it's like a villain, they could do this. <laughs> like, I thought he'd do something like that with the chip. No, not much. Is he blind? Is he blind? Is that voice Nao-chan? We have another blind character. Just like Zien Singer. Shun made himself blind because his powers only activate when he can see without the blindfold but we need to use his powers regardless i don't understand did he lose sight the same way the zian singer also did she's so uwu with him <laughs> Bro's name is Poo! The collaborator! <laughs> Poo!
Ain't no fucking way. The truth of this world. What an episode, man. Holy shit. The amount of revelations today, the amount of fucking plot, all hinted from the beginning of Aimi thinking that there was a big brother. You listening to Zien's song and being awakened to something because the music association reminded him of the past life or the past timeline and his true powers. Plunder. He possesses somebody, then he takes their powers. Now, we don't really know how long this power remains because if he still had telepathy, then he would obviously be able to hear other people's voices. But at the same time, he doesn't hear in this timeline, meaning all the stuff that happened here might have been erased and we skipped the timeline, therefore he doesn't retain any powers that existed before. But that doesn't excuse the fact that he possessed other people so far. And depending on how plunder works, maybe you have to actively know you can steal people's skills and then you'll have it. I don't know, because we possessed a lot of people during the whatever how many episodes there have been so far, right? So it's like, huh, very interesting. I thought today's episode was going to be a nice little date and it was for a bit. And then it just turned into fucking Classroom of the Elite Volume 1. And I would say this is fucking worse than the White Room, right? The motherfuckers are fucking dying. Then again, people probably died in the White Room too. Anyways, don't spoil me. This is crazy. The collaborator is poo. He can talk. He was always there. Big Bro is blind. Why is it the same as Sara from Z End? I don't know. We have a time. And then, then little sister Ayumi can be alive still if we skip time leaps. I don't fucking know. But the plot is getting so fucking good. But I'm worried because uh, with the time powers comes great responsibility in how all the things can get muddied in the water. And a lot of people in my YouTube comment section, we're only on episode 2 on the YouTube uploads. And motherfuckers are already saying, yo, the ending is fucking trash. And so I'm like, oh, oh, maybe we're going to have a little bit of a messy conclusion. But still so far, this is very compelling and I'm very interested to see how we're able to save our little sisters. Well, that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.